this is a story how you can present your country or your region or your city. Can we have a short video, please? Can I have this? Thank you. Yeah. summer to show our appreciation and to actually engage in a sort of a colloquy, a discussion on, on uh, well, about this Estonia. One thing that helped Estonia over the crisis was that we had been uh, peasant-like in, uh, in uh, putting our excess revenues into a stabilization fund, so we did have about 10% of GDP uh, in reserves. Uh, other countries that had reserves spent the money, uh, but we did not. We are a little slow here, so we didn't get around to that. And so we managed to, that assisted us considerably as well, as uh, having those reserves. I've spent a good part of my life chronicling the liberation of the half of Europe that was stuck behind the anchor, what Milan Kundera called the kidnapped West, and the subsequent unification of our continent. And there is, I would venture to say, no story more extraordinary and more inspiring than that of Estonia, a country which for most people in the world did not even exist on the map uh, 22 years ago, although of course it always existed, and which is now a model for many other countries, not just in Europe but in the world, a model first of all in the way you sang your way out. Have a slide, also, please. Yeah. Yeah. So, in um, winter 2010, we one of the meetings with President of Estonia, Thomas Hendrik Hilves. I had the idea that to promote the country is one of the best ways to invite our best friends, most in influential and important friends, to Estonia, and to show them who we are, what we have, and what we are doing. So, and, um, and it became, after that, the national project, Estonian Friends International Meeting, led by President of Estonia, Thomas Hendrik Hilves, Enterprise Estonia, which is uh, against agency that promotes Estonia with annual budget like 100 million euros, and me. And I am Estonian, but I live half time here in Marbella. So our goals are to spread message about successful, interesting, and investor-friendly Estonia, to show gratitude to our friends, entrepreneurs, politicians, uh, cultural figures who have helped Estonia, and also uh, for to have uh, loyal friends around the world all the time. So how we did it and what we do? It's uh, one of the best way is to invite people 
to your country and show them high-level culture, high-level contacts with high-level events and with high-level networking. So this event we do every summer, beginning of July, when the climate is the best in Estonia. And this is three days event. We are starting on uh, Thursday night with a concert, National Estonian Symphony Orchestra, conducted by world famous Neve Ervi. So Friday morning, we have a symposium, Kuevedis, Estonia, uh, led by President of Estonia, in, and this is take place in Academy of Science of Estonia. Then we have a lunch with Prime Minister in his uh, uh, residence, but is not far away from science, uh, Academy of Science. And then we go to countryside, to our country house, which is almost 200 years old water mill, like in uh, <laughs> National Park area called Lahema, where we have um, also a concert and the gala dinner. And on Saturday morning is um, different possibilities, like sightseeing in Tallinn Old Town, or you can go to a new art museum, or uh, IT demo center. And, um, and the final event is uh, lunch with a president in his uh, palace in a garden. So what we did last year as the crisis was just, we passed the crisis in Estonia actually, so the main subject was like um, how how manage the situation past crisis in Europe and Estonia. And we didn't talk only about Estonia, we, we talked also about the um, European problems and things and how to solve them. And, uh, and, our, and the frame is that we have every year only 100 people, no more because 100 people, you can get the personal contact. If it's more people, like two or 300 people, it's already difficult to get the personal contact. So we will not invite more than 100 people every year. So, and last year, the keynote speakers was our president and also professor from Oxford University, Timothy Carton Ash. You saw it in the video also. And in this year, we will focusing um, the event will take place in 4th to 6th of July, and we will focusing in e-democracy, e-governance, because this is important subjects in European Union, and Estonia is famous about Estonians' e-solutions, like e-government, e-tax office, e-healthcare, uh, e-elections, and e-healthcare, and more many things, and also, Skype is made in Estonia and, and, and more things are coming. And also like last year in November, we established in European Union cloud computing and this is led by President of Estonia. So the next meeting of cloud computing will be on same time when is our event in Tallinn in Estonia. So, and uh, we do not know yet who will be our uh, keynote speaker. But this year event will be even better than last year and it will be high level contacts, high level networking and, and we hope that this will be spread message about Estonia uh, wider and wider around the world. And I think um, everybody, each region, each country or each city can do the similar. Invite their important and best friends to their place and show who you are, what you have, and how you do the things. So thank you very much. <laughs>